we need to talk about these 2024 car liveries and the amount of carbon on display. This has been a problem for the last couple of years, really since the ground effect era came back into Formula One. And I really think Formula One need to step in and do something about it. Or well, these F1 teams are gonna lose their identity and so is Formula One. Let me explain what the problem is and a proposed solution. So far, we've seen Williams, Haas, McLaren, Stake, and Alpine reveal their 2024 cars. Not all of them have shown off their car, but they've all shown off their livery. Four out of those five cars have a lot of exposed carbon, something we hadn't really seen before last year. When the ground effect era started, that's when this really came to the forefront as teams were trying to save weight. It's become a point now where teams are predominantly choosing black as their main choice of livery color so that they can just leave the car unpainted and use the bare carbon as that black element. A really good example of this was the Mercedes from last year, 2023 Mercedes. Right on the engine cover, you could see the difference between the black paint, which is at the top, and then the carbon at the bottom. I accept that it was a little bit more noticeable up close and you couldn't see it as well from further away, but it was a very stark contrast between the paint and the carbon. And it really just showed off how messy and untidy it looked. So why is this an issue? Well, this year we've seen teams such as Alpine essentially change their entire liveries to predominantly black. We saw this a little bit with them last year. They need now more exposed carbon to save weight. Alpine has one of the nicest blues I've seen. When they came into the sport, the Alpine livery, that blue was so, so nice. I absolutely adore it. We've seen for the past few years, they've alternated between blue and pink liveries due to their association with BWT. But at least last year, the car still stood out. They're bright colors, it stood out. The car was predominantly pink or predominantly blue. So far this season, we've now had cars that are predominantly black. Sure, we're not gonna miss the stake front wing with that luminous green color. I accept that. But it's a trend that I would like to see eliminated by Formula One. You could argue, perhaps, that Stake and Haas, their liveries were going to be predominantly black anyway, so they're just saving that weight because it was going to be painted black. So you could say that. So they've not necessarily changed their designs. But you can't deny that black paint would look significantly better. The big question is, why do it? Why would teams want to do it? Well, it's simple, to save weight. It sounds bonkers, but paint on a Formula 1 car can weigh up to 6 kilograms, according to Alfa Romeo Sporting Director B. Zender. There are a few reasons teams would want to save that weight, and one of them is that the car is over the minimum weight. The minimum weight in Formula 1 is just that. It's a minimum. If you're over it, it's fine. You're not going to be penalised. But if you're over it and you have a heavier car than your competitors, well, it's potentially a slower car. There was a big issue at the start of these ground effect era where all of the new components were heavier, the cars were heavier, and teams were really, really struggling. This year, Alpine are rumored to have failed a side impact test numerous times. Now, there's a front impact test and a side impact test. Lots of teams fail the front one quite regularly. They're trying to save weight, fail it once, add weight, strengthen it, but don't put weight where you don't need to. Supposedly Alpine failed it a couple of times, so presumably they kept adding a little bit more weight, and it looks like maybe they've had to then shave off that weight somewhere else, and where they've chosen to do that is the paint. It looks to me like that livery was a last minute decision. They had to, to save weight. That's what it looks like to me. Other teams may want to save weight so they can distribute it to other areas of the car. For instance, you might have a team that's already on the minimum weight. They have to be that minimum weight, but they'll take a little bit off the paint so that they can distribute that ballast, as they call it, to other parts of the car that might benefit that team in the way that they set up their car. So what's the solution? Well, we have sporting regulations for this sort of thing, and I've taken a look at them so you don't have to. Section 9 covers car livery and competition numbers, and it mainly states that both cars must have predominantly the same livery, and goes into details about the requirements of the driver name and driver numbers to be visible on the car, that sort of thing. 
I don't see why this section can't have a ruling on what areas of the car must be painted and what can be left carbon. For instance, the whole floor section and bargeboard area will always be carbon as it always has been. In this area, we could dictate that any body panel that isn't on the floor has to be painted. Of course, it would be far more technical than that and someone with more knowledge would write these things, but you, you get the point. In reality, teams like Ferrari have already been working on a lighter paint and it would just be another area that teams would have to push the boundaries. If they wanted to save weight, they'd have to get a lighter paint. But it, it would actually mean that we'd have cars that looked better and teams would be able to keep their identity knowing that other teams weren't saving weight as well by taking off paint. I think that's really, really important for Formula One. Okay, special shout out. Now I'm recording this before the Visa Cash App launch, but from what I've seen so far of their teaser images, it looks like it's gonna be a very beautiful livery. Why? Well, it looks like there's paint on the car for a start. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe I've been duped there. But Williams, in fairness, have a car that has very little exposed carbon. They've got an identity now. Of course, Ferrari, Aston, Red Bull, and Mercedes are yet to reveal their liveries, but I expect Mercedes will remain black, and dare I say it, with lots of exposed carbon. I know that this may not be an issue to some people, and I'm not even saying that all of those liveries look bad. I personally think Haas has done a good job with their livery. Even though there's a lot of exposed carbon, I think the design actually flows and they've worked it in very well. But we need to get back to a time when teams were painting their cars based on what they wanted their cars to look like, with their sponsors, and their team colours and not compromising their designs because they have to to save weight and I think Formula One has to step in and do something about this let's make sure teams can show off their brand and we force their hand you can't save weight on paint the cars have to look nice you've got to try and save that weight somewhere else let's go back to those years where we had so many vibrant colours on the grid and we don't just have some variations of black cars with hints of colour here and there. I just hope and pray that Ferrari don't have a black car. From what we're hearing, it's not going to be. And I really, really hope that it isn't. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.